Steve and I have picked our way through it. Five changes. Ben Schroll, 20 years old, making his full debut for Aldershot Town. And Alfie Whittingham also playing out position at right back. I think possibly have, uh, three, three centre-backs, including uh, Karen. We're underway here at the EBB with uh, the shots in their traditional red and blue home kit. I'm, I'm expecting an away victory this afternoon, even though Wrexham do not have a good, a good record in North East Hampshire over the years. No, that's one thing. Uh, won't count for much today, but it's one thing that shot supporters will cling on to. Horsfield with a nice ball in. Headers up, and it's an easy catch for uh, Mitch Walker in goal, but uh, good move, good ball in delivery because he's capable of much better. He is, absolutely. Yeah, that one was, was too easy for, for Dibble, who's, who's impressed in recent ball weeks. bouncing he's... through the middle here. Shots come in. Walker's got enough on it to tip it over the bar. And a great, great chance there for Wrexham to take the lead. Sorry to cut you off, but uh, the head has come in from that man, Dior Anger. Relatively routine and straightforward for him to get it across and into the six-yard box. Will he lift it? Will he drive it? He lifts it. Header at the far post is wide. Uh, and uh, the header, I think, was from Tyler French. The horse field, and now Tyler will send it in from deep. Over to the far side, it will be picked up. Can it be kept in? By record, it has. It's good control from him. He plays the ball back now. And in it comes from the far side. Heads up, and it's wide and in. Back in towards goal from Hall Johnson. He was really guiding it in rather than shot, shooting it. Technically probably counts as a shot on target though. Pretty weak. <coughs> it's really about the players that get off Newbel if he can win it. Up towards Newbel it goes. Comes inside. The header well won by uh, Kelleher. Only as far as uh, Whittingham on the right hand side. Whittingham with a looping cross. Up it goes. And it's missed and followed up. And it should be put home. It is indeed. Joel Newbel follows up an awful straightforward routine drop by Tibble and uh, the shots have the lead here in the 26th minute order shot town one Wrexham nil we'll let uh, Steve tell the radio listeners about that in just a moment but uh, Steve if you want to listen out for them for your, your, your thoughts on the goal quickly well, it's, it's a mistake here it's it's he's dropped it under no pressure he's been in good form recently Certainly, yes. His, his defensive colleagues there did not help him. Right. Uh, Wrexham looking to respond here. Probably the slightly the brighter of the two teams. Good ball into the box. Laid off nicely. Shot's going to come in. It's just wide from Jordan Davies. He set his sights left-footed, drilled it low, and uh, much to Mitch Walker and uh, Aldershot Towns relief. Uh, it sailed probably around a foot or so uh, left of uh, Walker's. Ball played across the middle. Whittingham slips but recovers, gets the ball. Nice first touch from uh, Reese. Shot comes in from Candy and it's parried behind for a corner by Dibble. Uh, very good move in the build up, Steve, and uh, a well struck shot from uh, Candy, but you would expect Dibble to make that save. You would, yeah. It was a nice little layoff from Reese. He took the ball in his stride. Okay. Jamie Record is uh, ready to take the corner. Again, Wrexham continue with the tactic of Luke Young joining him to bring two players out. In it comes. Six yard area. Missed by the first couple of players. Bounces off of Candy. And then just as Horsfield tried to get on it, he slips. So Schroll comes away with it. And now Candy's bombing down the right hand side. Is he fouled? He was indeed. Referee tried to play an advantage. Uh, it couldn't be given. And it's the first yellow card of the afternoon. Reese Hall Johnson back inside via Reese and via James Rowe. Rowe will pop it out right to Whittingham, exchange passes, then plays the ball down the line for Miller to chase. That's going to bounce and go comfortably, I think, behind. No, Miller's done really well to get it. He cuts across the goal line, shoots, and it's deflected off of Dibble, and that was a moment of absolute brilliance from Ricky Miller, who struggled to get into this one. He did great to get it under control, wriggle inside his man, got his shot away, and Dibble got something on it to deflect it behind Steve. Yeah, that's all of Ricky Miller's own doing. He had no right to win that. He was in the tightest of tight spots down in the corner of the penalty area. Free kick to Wrexham inside their own half. And uh, one bit of defending for the shots still to do here in these remaining seconds. Forward comes the ball to the edge of the area. A lot of the first players miss it, then it comes out. It's hammered in. Appeals for handball. Nothing given by the referee. Jordan Davies picks it up, spreads it out to the left-hand side. Record sends it in. There's a little bit of a scruffy deflection and then it's behind I think possibly Columbia may have put that behind for the corner corner to Wrexham 
We're into stoppage time at the end of stoppage time at the end of the first half. Shots still lead 1 0. Wrexham, and there goes the half time whistle early on, who had the, the, the majority of the half chances or the, the better of the chances, but then the shots grew into the game as we saw with the, with the two fullbacks getting forward. And as obvious a statement uh, as it is, if all the shot keep a clean sheet, they're going home with three points. Absolutely, yeah. It, it's, it is, it is it's going to have been a, a big part of, of Danny's half-time team talk. I think keep it solid. All shot town have got the advantage. They don't need to do anything rash. Nubel shoots from distance. There's a horrible deflection and it's gone in. And the shots are ahead in the second minute of the second half. We'll wait for the replays for a bit finer detail, but the shot come from Nubel. It definitely took a deflection. The re you could see Dibble wrong-footed, rueful as soon as the deflection took place. And on 47 minutes, all the shot town have doubled their lead. Shot town to Wrexham, nil. Let's have a look at this, Steve. Nubel tries the shot, comes off the back, I think, of a Wrexham player and in. Right, Luke Young is lining up a free kick against Aldershot Town. <clears throat> He's scored these before on a couple of occasions. This is quite a long way out. It's, I would say, fully 30 yards. Pretty central. Steps up now. Strikes it. Goes through uh, a couple of bodies. And Walker catches it low down to his left. Didn't have a huge pace on it, which is why I think Miller made the de uh, uh, M Mitch Walker made the decision to... Uh, to catch it rather than parry it behind Jim, Jamie Record and uh, I think that's been confirmed now a yellow card for Josh Reese in the first half here is Reese playing the ball it's a beautifully guided ball to Candy he's in the right hand side can he make room for a shot he does and it's wide but uh, good build up there simple build up effective build up for the shots and Candy well he's had a good game down the right channel and when he finally got a chance to shoot he was a bit indecisive wasn't he he was yeah, I think a little bit of a rush of blood to the head did well to get himself in that position and an excellent pass from, from Josh Reese, but he, he slashes at it somewhat. We're going to get a substitution for Rex. Elliot Jurel comes on. Horsefield also goes off. What a credit to those who've come in in their place that uh, 67 minutes in here. All shot town still have a clean sheet. Here's Miller holding the ball up for Reese. Good exchange. Reese gives it back to Miller. Whittingham's making the overlapping run, but Miller's cutting inside. He wants to get a shot away. He is going to shoot from a long way out. Oh, it's just wide. It's tipped wide by Dibble. Miller desperate to get on the score sheet and a rasping drive from fully 30 yards, Steve, behind for a corner. Yeah, that was all, all of Ricky's work. You could see as he drove forward through the heart of midfield, just drifting inside onto his favoured left foot. You could see there was only one thought in his mind, and that was to hit a shot on goal, hit it sweetly. Dibble must have got a touch to that, but it, and even then, it was only inches past that left-hand post. Corner to shots then. Tim, I will still get to your question. Apologies we haven't, but that's because it's been a busy afternoon and an enjoyable one so far as well for all the shot down. James Rowe's going to take a right-footed in-swinger up at the East Bank end. In it comes. Missed by a couple. Cleared out wide. It'll find Rowe. Rowe thinks about the first-time touch, but passes to Newell, who's just inside the penalty area. Good footwork from Newell again. He's in, squares it, and it's tapped over the line by Jermaine Anderson. A beautiful goal in the creation. Surely completing the man of the match performance for Joel Newell. But Jermaine Anderson it is with a goal for shots. His fourth goal of the season. 68 minutes gone. All to shot town. Three Wrexham nil. Twinkle toes, twinkle toes Joel Newell does it again. Fantastic. Close control. Chinking his way past those Wrexham defenders into the box, virtually to the goal line, right near the near post, pulls it back, and then it's a simple tapping for Jermaine Anderson, who's got a habit of being in the right place at the right time. That, you'd have to say, should be game, set, and match for the shots. Wow. Uh, totally, totally unexpected from Aldershot Town's point of view. Um, here's Reese bursting through the middle, looks for the run of Miller, changes, goes the other way. Anderson. Back in form now after a difficult couple of games. Finds Nubel on the left and let Nubel do what Nubel does. He's in the penalty area. Tries a shot. Oh, he gets his shot away. It's on target. Comfortable save for Dibble. Loose ball as well. They do indeed uh, with uh, Kwame Thomas. Thomas exchanges passes with French. It's half cleared by Columbia, but it's going to run into the path of the uh, Wrexham substitute here. It's spread out to the left-hand side. Record uh, will pick it up. The edge of the area. 
and uh, shot comes in but uh, it's from Dior Angus straight low at Mitch Walker and uh, I think you know from an order shot town point of view maybe maybe we're being greedy Steve but as well as the three points that look as if they're coming what a tribute it would be to the whole team but particularly those young defenders coming into the side here's another substitution for Wrexham Jordan Davis is going off and he will be replaced by the Wrexham number nine Jordan Ponticelli but a chance for him to at least open his personal account even if it's not to rescue a point for Wrexham well won by Durrell plays the ball out to the left hand side to Dior Angus he cuts in shoots low that'll be easy for Mitch Walker to save so that's one, two, three, four, maybe five efforts on goal from Dior Angus today. None of them have looked like going in, Steve. No, he's, he's not caught them cleanly, and I think that one, that last effort there was, was maybe uh, symptomatic of his, of his whole afternoon. Get good, good, um, good intentions, getting himself into some decent positions, but he's just lacked that clinical, clinical finish. All right, Steve will update uh, our... Radio listeners again in just a minute, but here's Wrexham in on the far side. Brilliant shot comes in, it's parried. Oh, and it's the easiest chance of the afternoon for Dior Angus. And leaning black, he's blazed it over. An open goal, Steve Gibbs. 81 minutes gone, shots three, Wrexham nil. Yeah, just couldn't get underneath it. He leant back. It's a wild finish in the end, and maybe that sums up Wrexham's afternoon. Just Mitch Walker, did, he did well to get a, get a parry on the ball, and I think that does sum up Wrexham's afternoon. They're not looking like mounting a grandstand finish. It's shots three, Wrexham nil. Record with a shot just why Troll has to deal with it, does so eventually. His clearance will only go far as far as Elliot Durrell, who's been lively since he come on. But uh, here's Dan Jarvis on the uh, right-hand side. Low left-footed cross, headed away by Schroll. Only as far as Jarvis again. Jarvis with a little neat back heel to Durrell. Durrell swings in across to the far post. Whittingham with a strong, powerful header clear. Lifted back in from Carrington. Whittingham wins the header again. This time I thought fouled. Nothing given though. Wrexham coming to the edge of the area. Shot comes in. It's uh, bravely defended. Uh, somebody got his body on the line. Couldn't see who it was. And all shot come away with the ball. Love the purple goalie shirt to get your orders in with the club deadline on Monday. Okay, here's Wrexham almost in on the left-hand side. If Wrexham player goes down, claiming something, what's the referee going to do? He's wandering towards it, and I think he just uh, gives the, uh, is it corner or throw in? Uh, in comes the corner low. Stooping header, cleared by Harry Paniatu. Wrexham will have it again. Uh, Carrington with the ball forward. And uh, Elliot Jarrell's going to shoot from distance. It's an absolute beauty. Rips past Walker. Cannon's back off the bar. And then Walker stands up brilliantly, gets one hand on it just to divert it. And it's smashed behind for a corner. What an effort from Durrell. What brilliance from Walker to get up again so quickly. And there's a Wrexham player down injured in the process, Kwame Thomas. Let's have a look at the replay, Steve. Look at this effort from Durrell. I've never seen the crossbar rattle so much. Walker gets up one hand on it to divert it, and then Columbia smashes it behind. An order shot stretching every sinew to try and get the, three, uh, the clean sheet to go with the three points. Uh, but uh, credit to him. He's uh, trained with the first team throughout the season. In comes the corner to the far post. Headed away by an Aldershot Town player. Durrell's going to get it on the edge of the area. Hooks a little cross into the far post. French with the header. Easy catch for Walker. As good as they have been recently, this is a step back for the Dragons for me. And, and they will need to, to regroup and re rediscover the composure and the quality that they've shown in recent weeks if they're to maintain that promotion push. Well, thank you, Steve. Beautiful summing up from you there over the last of the final added minutes. The final whistle has been blown by Elliot Swallow. 